So today I'm going to pot up some tropical milkweed cuttings. I'm going to test that out. So today I'm going to pot up some tropical milkweed cuttings that I took about a month ago before Christmas, uh, so December 2016. Um, and that's Asclepius curasivicum, curasivica. Um, anyway, I'd cut them back to, um, it's recommended to cut back tropical milkweed in climates where they can overwinter. Um, so if we had a mild winter and it's pretty windy today, I hope you can hear me. <laughs> um, if you have a mild climate where it's going to overwinter, you want to cut it back uh, so that you can lessen the chances of the fungus OE developing and uh, being uh, eaten by the caterpillars, the monarch caterpillars. Um, and then that way it doesn't deform them later after they've gone through their uh, metamorphosis stages. Um, it can be a problem. So I cut them back. I took some cuttings, about six of them have rooted. Um, and so I'm going to pot them up today and then we are going to um, see how they, well they do. And I can transplant them back into my garden um, where I've cut them, the plants back, like I said, they were starting to come back up, but with our big freeze in early January, I'm not sure how well of survival rate I'm gonna have. I also had a lot coming up from seed, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose them. So at least I'll start with six hopefully good rooted plants. Probably had to buy some more. We had a lot of a good monarch caterpillar population um, over this last year of 2016. Uh, so I can expect 2017 to be booming as well. So I'm gonna get some dirt. So I've got my dirt. I have a stash of containers from other plants I bought. I have dirt that I've emptied out from other plants and just kind of reuse that. And I'm going to just take, this one only has like a little bitty root, but I think it's got new buds coming up, leaf buds coming up from the side at the joints, the root nods, nodules there. And I'm just gonna dig a little hole, stick it in there hope that, that root, you know this one's not rooted. Oh, there's a teeny tiny little root on this one. Very, very small. I probably should give it some root hormone, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and stick it in here and hope it takes because I'm afraid they've been in the water for a month. I'm afraid they're going to start rotting soon. Another one, but it has this nice little shoot coming off. So hoping that will be enough. This one has a nice, nice set of roots. It's also a big branching plant. Actually, let's see. I'm gonna make this one because its roots are a little bit bigger there. Let's put you down there. I'm gonna steal a little dirt from this side in this pot. I'll get some more in a minute. That one looks like it has the most success. This is just a teeny tiny little <laughs> little uh, cutting but it has some good roots going I think being in it is now warmed up to the low 70s and the warmth it will grow well oh I have seven cuttings so I'm just gonna stick two in this one pot yeah. that one's not rooted either but it looks like it could yeah it could rot so we're just gonna stick it in here I think it will take, just water those in with this water and I will get the hose and water everything else. I'll put it in the mist setting here so it's not gonna spray it everywhere. So I'm gonna have to water these daily for a good while till they get kind of established. But I think they're gonna take, but they're gonna like being out in the sun than in my office at work where they were rooting. Mm. 
All right, so we have all of our cuttings rooted on my <laughs> crazy potting mitch. And um, hopefully they take, we'll see how it goes.